House Assassination Committee heard a remarkable tale today concerning a plot to kill President Kennedy from a Dutch journalist. Vic Ratner reports from Washington. For three hours, Willem Altmans was questioned closely about his uncorroborated story by the House Assassinations Committee. Although his committee testimony is secret, in public, Altmans claimed that he'd been told of a conspiracy to kill President Kennedy, allegedly involving Texas oil interests, the late millionaire H.L. Hunt, three anti-Castro Cuban gunmen, Lee Harvey Oswald, and George de Morenshield, a friend of Oswald's who committed suicide this week when the Assassinations Committee tried to get him to testify. Mr. DeMar Schilt told me in Dallas on the 23rd of February this year, this year that Oswald acted at his instructions and that they discussed the Kennedy assassination from A to Z and that he knew that Kennedy was going to kill President, that uh, Oswald was going to kill President Kennedy sooner or later. After the session, the chairman of the Kennedy Investigation Task Force was asked if he believed Altman's conspiracy story. The sort of thing he is saying, uh, and he's named a few people, and has not been corroborated, so that I don't think there's anything he testified to that we wouldn't want to check out pretty thoroughly. In Texas today, H.L. Hunt's family denied that the late millionaire had anything to do with the Kennedy assassination. Committee members also question Altman's unproven story, remembering that his prime source, DeMorenshield, once said, everyone else has made a million dollars off the Kennedy case, now it's my turn. Vic Ratner, ABC News, Washington. What he knows about the assassination of President Kennedy, he not only told me, but he gave me a copy of the letter he wrote about this registered to Senator Frank Church when he ran the CIA investigation, saying, I know who ordered the assassination of John F. Kennedy. Was any attempt made uh, by uh, any of the people you contacted to follow up on the information? Well, the amazing thing is that after I gave a copy of the complete letter to both the Select Committee on Assassinations and the president's lawyer for assassinations at the Justice Department, Mr. Robert Keach. They have had it for six months. They, say, they claim they are unable to find General Donaldson, and uh, they haven't done a damn thing about it.